All right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kerbal Synth mod, which is being made by form user ASTSIL834. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a synthesizer note block that'll allow you to make your very own sweet, sweet music in the game if you are so musically inclined, or if... Like me, you are very much not musically inclined. It's just a fun little block that makes noise for you to play around with. So let's uh, jump into the space plane hangar and have a look at what we do get here. Now let's uh, grab ourselves a Mark I a lander can for size comparison's sake here today and head on down to the utility category where we have our one and only part, that of course being the note block, which doesn't have any real special stats here as it's not a fuel tank or a command pod. It's just a block that plays music, but I might as well uh, mention that it does have a mass of 0.15 tons and a crash tolerance of 15 meters per second. And as you can see here, it's just a tiny little glowing cube with a metal panel on every side of it. And along with that metal panel, there are also attachment points on every side as well. So you can, you know, build these things up, put them around to make some interesting little patterns with your synthesizer note blocks. Now, a really fun part about this, as I did mention, they are a glowing cube, and that's because they are a fully functional light that you can go in and change the color of. And I should mention that to take full advantage of the color light aspect of this thing, or just the light aspect in general, it is highly recommended that you do have the indicator lights mod installed with this. And is it required, but to get the full experience, it is highly recommended. Now, as for the musical aspect, in the right-click context menu here, as you can tell, we do have quite a lot of options for changing the uh, note that it does play, the amplitude, as well as the attack and release stuff, which, being someone who isn't musically inclined, I don't entirely know what all this is, but it's fun to mess with, and we'll talk a bit more about that in a moment when we go outside, because, unfortunately, it brings me to the one issue I have with this mod, and I don't know actually if it's something the, it, that's the mod fault or the game's fault, but there seems to be no way to play the note for this block here in the space plan hangar or the vehicle assembly building. I could be wrong on that, I might be missing something, but to my knowledge and from my testing, we can only seem to play the note when out in the world. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to try and set these things up before sending it out. But once out here, you can adjust all of those things on the fly anyway. So let's jump into my Kerbal Synth 2 craft, which, oh boy, Kerbal Synth number one was a complete failure. I attempted, because again, it has all those attachment points, I attempted to make just a giant floor out of these blocks because, we'll talk a little bit more about this in a moment, but one of the ways to activate the blocks is through touch, like, say, a Kerbal walking over it. Problem is, though, without Kerbal Joint Reinforcement installed, they get a little wobbly, and when they touch each other, they make noise. So it was just making this horrible cacophony of noise that was just, oh boy. So I had to scale it down for our testing purposes here. I'm sure with a little bit more tweaking and, uh, and again, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement installed, it might have gone better. But uh, as it is, let's just take a look at this one block here, and let me actually reset it to its uh, more or less default state when you pop one of these on. Now, to actually activate the note block and get it to play, you're going to have to hit this play start button down at the bottom here, and that's going to turn on the light because the light only shows when a note is playing. Let's actually turn down the amplitude here so we don't make anyone's ears bleed while going through this stuff. Now, to actually turn the note on, either all the time or just when you want it pressed, well, that's where you get to these options here of Trigger Attack and Trigger Release. Now, Trigger Attack is what it's doing now. It is just continuously playing because it's been clicked. But we can also get Trigger Release, where basically it plays the note, and then if you watch the amplitude here, 
it'll just fade off into nothingness. So it allows you to trigger it whenever you want, and that's pretty convenient. And what's cool about that is you can even trigger that through uh, command uh, buttons. So like I've got this and uh, this one on three, and I can just hit three on my keyboard over and over. I've got uh, four there for that block, and you can use that basically to make your uh, one through 10 keys like a little keyboard, kind of cool. Now we also have this attack and release button here, which to me seems to do exactly the same thing as trigger release, but um, I don't know, maybe there's something different about that, but in my testing, I can't seem to tell the difference, I'll be honest there. Now, as for how these buttons are affected, well, we have the attack and release settings. Now the first bit, again, not being very musically inclined, I don't really know about like attack and release of notes, but what we have is two bits to this slider of a min and max here, which when we adjust and say hit the trigger release, it'll adjust how it does that. So if we have it there, you can hear that. If we say move the whole thing over this way and trigger again, it's, it seems to be cutting it off more. Again, there's probably some better terminolo terminology for that, but not being someone who's musical in any way, shape, or form, I've just been leaving it at roughly the defaults and rolling with it from there. Now, we can also change the amplitude that it does use whenever we do trigger, and also the release time for how long that is going to take for it to fade all the way back to zero. Now moving on up to the notes section, this is of course where you're going to be changing the actual note itself. So if we go back to trigger attack, we can change it through the different octaves, down to zero, or all the way up to eight. Oh boy, keep that out of there because boy, that's high pitched. And we can even change the notes from C all the way up to B. And there we go, which is pretty fun. Now we can do a bit more than that as well. Let's put up the three, because we can change the pitch mode itself from the current defaulted simple over to an advanced where it has a note index here, which is kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of a theremin in there. And we can change that back to simple, and we can even have the waveform. Now by default, it's on this triangle, but we can also go to custom tones where we have a demo tone, a guitar tone, a piano tone, and a violin tone. And so each one's, you know, gonna be a bit different for the sound that it's gonna produce there, which is pretty cool. We also have a sign mode as well. I've been personally keeping it, oh God, I forgot about the saw, and square, and then back to triangle. Oh, I forgot about the saw one. That thing just vibrates really harshly. Let's turn down the octave on that and maybe go back to the saw, just so you can get, yeah, there you go. It's a chainsaw sound, just sort of going a thud, 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 thud and the square a faster version of it. I've personally been sticking with either triangle or the custom tones because, well, having a guitar is kind of cool. And while we are in this trigger attack mode, we can change the amplitude here, as well as the range, and the uh, we can have it decay so that if we fall off, you can see sound going away, blah, 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 and all very nice there, so we can affect those things. So all quite cool. Let's turn this thing off though, and actually I'll trigger it back to trigger release, and talk about the different ways to activate it besides hitting like the button here. Let's actually put this one's octave back up. We can do it in a couple of ways. We can also just click it with left click. So there we go. I'm just left clicking on all of these things and activating the note. And like I mentioned earlier, can also activate on touch. So if I say, activate this separator, there we go. It hit the ground and activated. Alternatively, if we get out our Kerbal and actually walk him over to our slowly, awkwardly rotating lander here, I get a little bit closer to the, la the ladder, there we go, and walk on up. As you can see, as he steps on it, it will activate the things. And that's just pretty fun. So between, you know, making a floor of these note blocks for your Kerbals to step onto, or perhaps a giant cube of separators of these things, just scattering them across the land, which would be just gloriously wonderful. 
you've got some fun options. And even when you're outside of the craft, we can still click these on our own. Now, as for, of course, using them with the uh, your command buttons, you know, 1 through 10, you can only do that when you are in control of the craft, but you still have other options even while outside, which is pretty neat. I really, really do love that. And there's just so many possibilities of what you can do with this between the different sounds as well as colors. Now, on the note blocks I've popped in here, I really didn't mess around with the different colors because, well, I just kind of left them all as the default. But we can still adjust the colors in here. So that's say now we got more of a pink on that one. Bring that down. Now it's more of a white. There we go. And yeah, you can just have that sorted for all the things, which is pretty cool. So everyone can have its own note with its own tone, its own weird saw mode, if you so desire, as well as its, as its own color. So yeah, if you'd like to check this one out for yourself and play around with making a little bit of music here in Kerbal Space Program, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.